and I'm watching the air show right now. What's happening here? Why can't I see anything? Oh, there it is. There we go. But look at that, but look at that. I know, but look at that. How fun. Just drinking a coffee, watching planes fall from the sky. Look at this talent, look at this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, 70 years old, this is going to be exciting. This is just practice. I can't stop. I'm so happy, my breakfast meat life, so I can totally get involved. Wait, hold on. Where are they going? There they go. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Like precision skill. Okay. Don't mess with us. There they go. They were right over me before. I can't seem to catch them. There they go. Bye-bye. in a foreign land adapting another country's traditions what's my connection here really oh my god I hope I don't know that remember this image because I'm going to shoot one tonight there's going to be so many people here snipers on the roof people everybody looking out for windows I'm going to try to get a window seat she's going to walk in the bike lane but this is going to be packed every day in the last few weeks, in the last week I'd say, there's a growing sense of nationalism. The flags and the trees are blooming and everyone is preparing for Memorial Day. This sense goes through every single Israeli now. Not being a native, it's different for me. I don't have that memory. I didn't do the army, so I share the experience. But even as a foreigner, the emotions are raw and palpable every year. It's a very, very heavy day. There'll be a siren. And things will get very... Once that siren rings out, the TV is flooded with, with program after program about the memories of all that have fallen in every war and operation in the last 70 years of Israel. Years. Think about 70 years. What does 70 years look like? Can you believe the most hated country in the world? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just do Memorial Day and let's remember and honor those. Beautiful, her street is, oh my god, they're gonna kill me. One-handed. Me and my Bella are here, and we're in a color cocktail. Here, we have to get like inside and deeper. We have to like feel the color. Feel the colors. I just want to open my window and like this to be in front of my window. Look, you're blocking my window. Get out of the way. Look at those ferns and zet. What is this tree? It's not the Bougainvillea, whatever it is. Ah, oh, it's fucking gorgeous. This is a bar, restaurant. Every store is closed. I'm heading to the main square. It always reminds me like how small the country is in these little city squares. But there'll be tons of people, and it's heavy. I'm not too sure that last message went through, and I'm kind of rushing because I like to be in a certain place because there'll be a siren at 8 o'clock. The cars will stop. Everybody will stop. Everybody will stand and together. Maybe because they're Arab owners, 
I really thought it's a country thing that all the stores close and respect for the Memorial Day and for everybody, but I don't know, maybe Arab owners don't have to uh, Maybe it's an 8 o'clock thing that everybody needs to be closed by 8 o'clock. They're so curious. Like, what the hell? Why can't I photograph whatever? You can know. It's a pizza place. Yeah, maybe it's an 8 o'clock time. Sad to say, but it's like when people sort of become human around here, a little kinder, a little nicer. I think that that woman just was a little guilty. That's why she screamed at Mom, it's a limit, which is, what are you photographing? So maybe they were doing something illegal. I was taking a shower before, and I was thinking, my God, if I come a long way. The first siren I ever heard was a Yoma Shoah siren, and I didn't know what it was, and no one warned me, so I hid under a tree. Don't ask. And now here I am, always wanting to be at the busy corner. I think one thing I've learned by being here is never to judge how people mourn. Never judge how people memorialize. Never judge it, because you just don't know. And it's so I just want to, well, everybody's going to the square, but this is how crazy the roads are right now, which are, like, mellow, but just feel that energy. All right, so you might not get the whole crazy energy traffic. You know what? Maybe I'll just stay here. I don't need to get to the that. I'm going to stay here. Watch to see what's going to go down here. The calm before the storm? I don't know. I kind of missed it, but... I have a siren. It's any second. I can't say I feel very good about shooting during the summer. I'm going to get out of here and I'm better on the road. Um, stupid. And um, it feels weird videotaping, photographing. When I was a tourist, it was so much easier, but it just feels a little bit uncomfortable, like photographing people, the citizens, my neighbors, like in their faces during this like very sensitive time. But I wanted to get when the siren is over and the, like people go to their cars and stuff, it reminds me after a bomb I'm telling you, they're very into this. It's like every decade major. Um, so this awkward thing, is, it's like after a siren and you, you've had this moment and people get back in the taxis and sometimes people get all out of the buses. It's all different. But to clarify, of course, it's a different siren on Yom HaZikaron on the Memorial Day than it is, if God forbid, there is a rocket or something coming and there, you know, we need an Iron Dome. It's a different siren. But after it's done, it's that same weird feeling. As I've been showing for days, it's totally flagged. The entire country is flagged. I want to know who owns the flag company and the distribution, if it's for the same throughout the country. Again, Benatan, who's a little bit nervous about crowds in Israel, it would be me. Miss Barachat, number one. Okay, so the guy in front of me had a kippah so, and a knapsack, and they just totally just undid his bag looking for a gun. Police are on rollerblades. That's new. I've seen them on those other things, but never on rollerblades. Okay. This is packed. I feel a little lost. It's really, it's like bizarre. I try to identify, but it's... So right now they're all watching the Jerusalem ceremony, which started. Tel Aviv hasn't started yet. I've shown you this stage many times. It's our country square. Let's see if I can give you a pan of it. A lot of people here. Yeah. That woman probably lost her son this year. 
אשר על דלתם נקש השכול, בעבור הזכות לצמוח בו. I see some major weaponry here. Anyway, I always would go right in the middle, in the crowds, but I don't know. I probably should have gone to Jerusalem to see that Tekkes. I actually had access. We're still watching the screen of Jerusalem, and this is this amazing canter. It's just awesome. This was the same canter Hazard that was in Poland in the March of the Living. One never forgets where they are in the Middle East. Just a few hours away, we have a lot of troubles on the Gaza border, but if you look up and you see those lights, those are snipers. Only in Israel are there's a crowd louder than the memorial, than the memorial service that they're at. I'm freaking believable. Like, you can't hear anything. <laughs> yes, there's a memorial service going on. I can't hear a damn thing. I just give up, I think. talkers, a little bit more respectful, in deep. I wish you could see this perfect rose. If I do this, I doubt it. It's so perfect. We saw it this afternoon, but I had no camera. Wow. It's nice to look at a rose. I just keep thinking, I don't know how these people live with loss and go on. It's just so difficult. I just never want to be in the shoes and like the stories I just heard. Oh. I said to my friend today, gosh, can you imagine being a parent and knowing your kid is on the border of Gaza tonight and like what's going on? And she said, you have no idea. I prayed to give birth to girls. That's how heavy it is here. So chill in the hood. <sighs> Some phenomenon I once saw at the very beginning. Somebody brought me into a room. I had no idea what was going on, and I got a really weird feeling. So they keep rooms for the children. Continuing that thought. Okay, continuing. So there's the room that you keep. Like if your son is killed, they, they have the room, and, and they just keep that room as a memorial room. I've walked into one of those. Wow. <laughs> It's really this weird mentality. It's like, it didn't happen to me, my family, my best friend, my lover, so I'll just go and stand, but I don't really respect what's going on. Unbelievable.